Hello, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to the Community Television Network's membership highlights featuring Maine Veterans for Peace. My guests today are Crystal Zevon and Denise Valdez and Wilma, <laughs> <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Now you are searching for Occupy. Yes. I believe that's your little tagline. Yes, yes. Um, tell me how this got started. Well, we, we were both occupiers at Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C., um, and that occupation started on October 6th, and we met there. Um, Denise is from Texas, and I'm from Massachusetts, and we were there during the entire time of the encampment, basically. Uh, when the encampment broke up, Denise stayed in D.C. working out of Peace House. I, I went home. Um, and as I was sitting at home, I, I felt, I, you know, I, I felt like gradually I started going back to what I was doing before, signing petitions online, to it, and it didn't feel like enough. I, w I was getting depressed. And then Denise went home. And, and what you started had getting say. depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just wasn't ready for it to be over, just right. because the encampments were there. Didn't mean that the movement was over. Exactly. And, and mm -hmm. we knew that. I mean, I think mm -hmm. that's it. We were both very active, you know, and, mm -hmm. and knew what was going on around the country, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yet the mainstream media, there was a total denial. Mm -hmm. the Occupy's dead. Yeah. You know? as, as long as they weren't visually there, mm -hmm. they weren't there. Right. 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 So you, your, your background is as a writer. Mm -hmm. In fact, you, you wrote a, a book about your... Um, Former husband. Yes. Um, I'll sleep when I'm dead. The dirty life and times of Warren Zevon. Yes. Um, which was actually quite a big hit in 2007 when it came out. Yeah. It was. It was successful, and I'm proud of it. But there's nothing <laughs> political about it at all. <laughs> right. And you are an artist yes. who's who does um, sculptural pieces yes. that are not right. necessarily political pieces. Right. Um, but you both have had a deep commitment to activism yes. and that's what drew you together in the encampment why did you decide to follow the movement I mean you're on a nationwide tour of the country looking for what has happened to this movement well I you know I kind of had this idea actually before the Occupy movement started I was really becoming obsessed and thought about doing a book about the, the people falling into hard times because of what was happening in our economy, for, for all the things that Occupy Wall Street was addressing before it happened. So I had this plan to drive around the country, and I had started doing interviews and so on. And then when I saw this was happening, I scrapped that. I said, this is, this is it. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it came as kind of like a natural, oh, well, we're going to go. I, I really, I had an experience where I filmed something in, on the 4th of July in Paonia, Colorado. One of the Koch brothers had a, t a tank in the parade. And, and I just, on my iPhone, this, this hairdresser who yeah. was cutting my hair on July 3rd said, on July 4th, I'll go out and stand in front of the tank and you film it. And we thought, it, and with a sign saying, uh, are you, tr are you gonna, planning to take the planet or buy it? <laughs> and, and, um, it, so the next night, it was, it was on r the lead story in Rachel Maddow. Mm -hmm. I just threw oh it up on, on YouTube. And there it was. And I, I said, that's it. Mm -hmm. That is citizen journalism. Mm -hmm. we, I was there. I filmed a moment. It is not about uh, having a great work of art. It's right. about this is what's happening now. And there it was to, to thousands of people exactly. just like that. And, and that's kind of where I had the yeah. idea, and I called Denise. And Denise, what it, what, when she made that phone call to you, what were your thoughts? I had actually been thinking the same thing, and it was just, everything fell into place. Yeah. It was just perfect timing, and uh, I had actually had, I was staying at an activist house in D.C., and I had planned on interviewing people that came in and out of mm -hmm. the house, and just never got the time to actually sit anybody down and do it. If people want to get in touch with you, I know you're blogging on Michael Moore's um, webpage. Yep. You have your own webpage, yes. which is www.searchingforoccupy.com. And people can like you on Facebook. Yes. yes. Um, and you also have a little map on Facebook, I believe, where people can follow 
your that's, path. That's on our web page. That's on the web page, yeah. right. So people can follow you and offer you housing, yes, yes. food, Please. and <laughs> interviews, right? Yes. All around the country. Yes. yes. So thank you for doing this. Thank you for being here. Sure. Is there one quick last thing you want to say to the audience about what you're doing? And You know, I, I think that we just want to tell the truth. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think the activists that were there um, are still out there doing things, and sometimes it's not under the name of Occupy. Mm -hmm. But uh, we believe if we don't, if everybody doesn't step up to the plate who can, uh, we're, we're going to be in deep doo-doo. Exactly. <laughs> and I think that's one of the most important things that Occupy brought to the public, mm -hmm. was that, yes, we need to pay attention. Yes. I just you. want to say thanks to Occupy Portland, Maine. They've been great yeah, organizing nice. everything Real for course. us. Of course. <laughs> the first one of the first stops on this trip. I hope they all go this way. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you both for being mm -hmm. here, and thank you for doing what you're doing. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for having us. Mm -hmm.